Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a BitShares wallet. The first step is to find the correct domain name. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. You're going to want to go to Google for this and go to coinmarketcap.com. And once you're on this list of cryptocurrencies, you're going to want to go down until you see BitShares, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click website here. And it directs me to bitshares.org. So you could go ahead and Google search that if you want. You could type in bitshares.org. Just make sure it's a HTTPS website and verify that it has a green padlock right here, which means it's a secure website. Another way you could find the website is by going to their Twitter profile. And I'll show you what that looks like right now too. So you're gonna wanna scroll down and go to social here under the bitsharescoinmarketcap.com website and click social and scroll down again until you see the profile for BitShares, which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it takes me to their Twitter page. If you take a look at their followers, they have 90,000 right here. And if you look at the description and the link that they promote, it's bitshares.org. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it redirects me back to bitshares.org, which is the official website. So we're all good there. I'm gonna exit out of this and the Twitter page. I could even leave coinmarketcap.com. The next step is to choose the correct wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that too. On this page, bitshares.org, there's a green button right here, which says download. We're gonna go ahead and click this download button right here. But before I go ahead and do that, I do wanna let you know that the BitShares wallet and online wallet are the official wallets for BitShares. And the BitShares wallet is developed and maintained by the main BitShares development community. So the next step again is to download the wallet. Go ahead and do that. Click this green button right here and it directs us to the options you have to download it. And there's Windows, Mac, and Linux. At this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate version to download for you. You might be using a Windows or a Linux. However, for me, in this video, I'm gonna be using a Mac. You could also verify that you're downloading the correct uh, file by checking the SHA-256 right here. And if you know how to do that, go ahead and feel free to. However, it might be a little bit too technical for this video. So I'm just gonna trust that this link to download is the official link for the bitshares.org website. However, you could verify that anytime you want by checking the SHA-256. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button right here, which says Mac. On the bottom left side of the screen, it's saying that it's downloading right here, and it's gonna take about 45 seconds to do. So you could go ahead and pause the video here and continue playing the video once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great. So it officially downloaded right here and completed doing that. So we're gonna move on to the fourth step here, which is to install the wallet. All you have to do is click the BitShares download on the bottom left right here and it starts opening. And it's asking me to drag this BitShares 2.0 file or application into my applications folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the next step now would be to open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this icon here and it's asking me are you sure you want to open it? I am going to say yes and click open. And here it is. It's starting to open up now. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for that to load up right now. Okay, great. So here it is. 
This is the Bitshears wallet. And in this video, I am not gonna be talking about how to create an account, how to send or receive Bitshares. I'm not gonna talk about how to back up or protect your wallet or even update it. In this video, I am just showing you how to download and install the BitShares wallet. So stay tuned for those videos. However, there is one more thing that I do wanna note and there's one more step that I wanna show you, which is step number five. And step number five is to verify that you can open and close the wallet. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. What I'm gonna do here on my screen is drag it to the top left so you can see how I exit out of it. And what I'm gonna do is click on BitShares on the top left here and click Quit. So I will also exit out of this and I will exit out of this for now. The way to reopen the BitShares wallet is to go to Finder go to your applications and then find the BitShares application inside that folder. So I see it right here on my screen. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and then click open. And it's saying, are you sure you wanna open it? I am going to say, yes, open. And here it is loading once more. So great, you successfully downloaded and installed the BitShares wallet. Stay tuned for my future videos on how to use this wallet. But for now, that concludes my video. If you like watching these types of blockchain tutorials, go get yourself a copy of the Cryptocurrency Investing Blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could also get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. You could also find me on Twitter my handle is Denny Lovejoy, and Denny is spelled D-E-N-N-I. Thank you for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a BitShares wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos or tutorials, leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and have a terrific day.